Okay, and we're live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, give me a minute here. We're going to see if we can uh, get this shared out, get some more people in here. So bear with me for just one moment. How's everybody doing this evening? Hey, got Beastly Ironworks. Dave, you're going to want to stick around. I got something to show you. Uh, this is something that uh, I'm really proud of. Hey, Twin How's Cities everybody Outdoors. Doing this evening? Good to hey, see you. Hey, got Beastly Ironworks. Okay, I'm going to get this shared out here on the old interwebs so we get a uh, few more people in here and then we'll get to work on it. Hey, Black Sheep. Good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. We're going to get going here in just a minute. I'm trying to get everybody notified. So there we go. It's tweeted out. Let's see if we can get it on the... Uh, the group. There's Tyler. Good to see you. Spending time with kids. I uh, understand that. Definitely understand it. Not a problem at all because I know the importance of family. And uh, definitely got to take that into consideration don't want to neglect your family you always want to uh, show them as much love as you can because uh, tomorrow isn't promised and uh, there you have it don't want to sound morbid or anything to say you know like somebody could die tomorrow but you know you never know what could happen so but yeah you guys uh, so I've been out doing a little traveling around the, 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 uh, the area haven't found a whole lot of uh, fishing or anything like that. Yeah, Tyler premiered his uh, day, uh, I believe it was day two or, or uh, whatever of his uh, canoeing trip. And uh, yeah, very nice. I think that guy is going to become the uh, Vanna White of uh, the the food packets there and, and promoting it on a, a stump <laughs> he, he puts his uh he, he does his shots of like you know his, his drink and his food or he might do shots of a, a backpack and axe and a camera or something and he does them on a stumps and it's really cool so is uh if you, if you guys don't have tyler check him out but i think uh, for the most part everybody here does uh, I'm just going to throw this up on my community channel and we'll get rolling here a little bit more. Oh yeah, Tyler saw that. I appreciate it. Uh, that's absolutely awesome. All right, so yeah, um, been getting out and traveling around the area a little bit. Of course, it's like I said, cornfields everywhere, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see in the title, the Corn Monkey Report, uh, just wanted to let you know there have been sightings of uh, tracks, but uh, no actual visuals yet. I know they're starting to come out of their hiding, or actually out of their hibernation. Um, again, the, the crops this year were planted late, so uh, usually by this time of year it's well over my head, but now it is actually only up to, you know, knee high or waist high in, in a few cases. So. Um, they, they really want to come out when there's plenty of cover for them to uh, 
maneuver around. So right now I'm working on getting my my uh, license for uh, going out and hunting for them. Uh, it's it's kind of a difficult process, but we'll we'll get it straightened out, and then I'll show you what that license looks like. Uh, definitely working on that. And this is something before uh, Dave. Uh, disappears uh, I wanted to show you guys something and I believe you guys might have heard me mention uh, in some of my other lives how I had uh, I had lost a cataragus knife that uh, meant a lot to me uh, because I had one uh, both my brothers had one and I didn't realize that my dad actually had one and uh, mine uh, got disposed of a uh, rather frustrating way but uh, uh, felt really terrible that I didn't have it anymore and I mentioned it to my dad and he decided that uh, he was going to give me his so this is the uh, the Cataragus 225Q it was predominantly made around World War II. Uh, I'm still looking on the uh, the history of these things, and nice and little little bit dirty. Uh, I'm gonna polish it up a little bit, but uh, let you guys get a, a closer look there of it. And full tang. See, it's got the the little pins that hold the three plates for that end of it and then it's got a leather wrap around for the uh, the handle there but uh, yeah I just absolutely love this knife it has a, a great weight to it uh, it's wider here in the middle right here than it is on the outer edges so it really you know fits in the hand really good A real myth? Corn monkeys? Um, well, there are going to be some up and coming stories about that. Um. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah it, you know, it, it might take some explanation of the corn monkeys. Um, corn monkeys are something that live in cornfields, which are a um, they are in the same uh, family as Sasquatch, Bigfoot, um, but they're smaller. Um, they're they're more. Uh, I would say maybe in the size of uh, you know a small chimpanzee to a spider monkey. So, you know, somewhere in that size. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's it's not a beastly ironworks knife. I don't have one of his yet, but uh, yes, it. Uh, I used my other one previously. My dad has used this knife uh, quite extensively in his uh, uh, hunting, and you know, I just I really wanted one like this because it works uh, quite well for you know things you know, with hunting, skinning, and stuff like that, but I think it'll actually do quite well with some uh, bushcrafting activities that uh, I want to be able to do, and, uh, you know, maybe as a backup protection when I'm out uh, doing a little corn monkey hunting, so, hey, Skins fans all day, hey, buddy, what's going on, good to see you, appreciate you coming by, uh, hope everybody's having a good day, we got flatearth.com, Beastly Ironworks, Tyler Wood, uh, Peter, Peter fits in well. Uh, let's see who else. Can you show that again, brother? 12 seconds. You want to see it in the sheath or the just the knife there, Dave? I'll do just the knife. And I'll let's see. I'll hold it up so you can see that. Let's see if you can kind of see the the writing on there. I'll just 
side of it. But it's a, uh, it says Cataragus, it's spelled C-A-T-T-A-R-A-U-G-U-S, and it is a 225Q. Very uh, sturdy, heavy knife, definitely, uh, definitely going to put this to good use. So, uh, it's something I am very proud to have as, as something that, uh, you know, was handed down from my father, but uh, not only that, uh, replacing something that I, you know, lost that was near and dear to me, so uh, getting this uh, really means a lot to me. So, how's everybody else doing this evening? Um, good to see we've got everybody here. Looks like we got five watching, we got seven thumbs up. Uh, Life with Stephanie. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Uh, just hanging out here in the, the backyard. Uh, you, you guys probably hear the, the neighbor who decided to uh, start mowing right right as I was going live. But uh, hey, this, this is what happens. It's kind of hot here in the backyard, so if you see me ever so often, reach for the old towel. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite warm. I'm not sure the exact temperature, but it is quite warm. Just ate Taco Bell, and you said it was going good. Um, is that kind of like, uh, what do they call that when they say, like, military intelligence? You know, the two are kind of like the opposite of each other. Um, so if you just ate Taco Bell, Things might not be going too good here in a little bit. Just saying. <laughs> We've got to share this out. Appreciate that. Um, now let's definitely see if we can get some more in here because uh, one of the things, if you guys, oxymoron, that's what it was. Thanks, Flat Earth. I appreciate that. Huh. Belly is happy. Does nothing to me. Oh, well, that's awesome. Uh, you know, some people it does, some people it does, and I, I don't tend to have too many problems with it, but, uh, yeah, uh, it's what I've heard. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so, Nye Carper here, uh, oh, quick hello, yeah, appreciate you coming in, it's, uh, one, 112 a.m. there, uh, uh, good, good morning to you, I guess, is what I should say. Um, but it's evening here. It's uh, about 7.15 this morning, or this evening here, so I uh, appreciate you coming by and showing some support. And one of the things I wanted to do, um, I know everybody in our group has been helping work on it, but we are trying to get uh, Canoe Hound Adventures to his 1K. Um, hoping he might be able to make it in but uh, he also on on uh, you know a lot of times on the weekends is out doing a uh, canoeing hiking trip or, or something or he has family so uh, he's not able to uh, make the Saturday night live like we're doing here so but uh, Dennis at Canoe Hound Adventures on his way to 1k I'm trying to see if I can get you guys his link um, oh life with Stephanie is like 50 away from 3k oh wow that is ah uh, yeah I, I can't I couldn't imagine you know uh, not too long ago I was having trouble imagining being at 1k and uh, you know I finally made it I hit like a, a flat line period there and it just seemed like uh, nothing was happening, nothing was advancing, and then all of a sudden it picked up again and then it flatlined again. And I, I was just about to give up on it and then Tyler jumped in and uh, uh, just really promoted it. Uh, you know, Tyler here's got to uh, ask if we could talk about uh, channel keywords and tags. Um, 
Yeah, it's one of the things I like to do with uh, is if anybody's got any questions about, uh, you know, tags, titles, keywords, uh, promoting your channel, things like that, um, hit me up. Uh, I, I, I like to help people with that. I probably neglect my channel more than I help other channels, but that's okay with me. Uh, most of this is for fun for me anyway. But um, one of the things that, uh, you know, I kind of see, like, if, if you notice here on the title of this live, I put uh, Corn Monkey Report. Now, if you go out there and you do a search on what the uh, Corn Monkey is about, uh, let's see. Okay, Tyler says he's going to go live, so what we'll do is, uh, I usually go for about two hours on mine, um, so Tyler, if you want, we'll see what we can do from here, and then we'll bleed all, everybody on over to you, we'll see if we can't get uh, Shannon and Kristen rolling on this too, and see if we can, uh, you know, if if Dennis is not available, you know, that, that would almost be sweet of, of him maybe waking up Sunday morning and finding out he's at 1k but uh, but yeah so on the the title thing like I said I, I titled it uh, corn monkey report uh, if you do a search on or pretty much on the, the internet you, you won't find a whole lot if anything about corn monkeys because um, for one thing it's you know more dominant in states that uh, have corn cornfields in large amounts of cornfields you know if you just have a little small corn patch in your garden uh, very rarely do they uh, try to come out in those fields because there's just not enough cover for them but uh, so but like I said in my title corn monkey report uh, I'm using it to to as kind of a a little bit of catalyst to get something rolling uh, I'm going to have to probably merge that with something that uh, is more uh, dominantly search like Bigfoot so I'm gonna have to find a way to uh, include the corn monkey and inc include the Bigfoot which is going to you know kind of be the catalyst that wakes it up so to speak and then you know once you start writing your about section for that uh, you know you say you know I was uh, hitting the fields of uh, central Illinois uh, uh, cornfields uh, checking out the reports for the corn monkey going to be doing some hunting for the corn monkey in you know maybe this county or something so you're reiterating uh, specific words so that when you create your tags you're you're going to use those and tags are really tough because a lot of people still tend to use single words um, I call those the common tags so you have your Preliminary tags, your secondary tags, and then your common tags. Preliminary tags are ones that are very specific. So, uh, corn monkey report, that would be a specific one. But, and then corn monkey might be a secondary, uh, like maybe Bigfoot or something like that. Bigfoot's borderline between secondary and the common. And then your common ones would be like corn, report, camping, hiking, bushcrafting, whatever. So, um, so we got twisted our racing in here. Good to see you, buddy. Um, and yes, it is about a group effort. Uh, definitely so. And hey, uh, just seen. Uh, got fishing with grizzly whiskers in here. And thanks, Dave. Yeah, everybody, smash that thumbs up if you guys get a chance. Uh, let's share this out. I want to. Uh, I really want to get this uh, stream rolling a little bit. 
because we want to build it up and then when uh, we close things out we're going to roll on over to uh, Tyler Woods and really be pushing to see if we can't get uh, Dennis at Canoe Hound Adventures to his 1k he's he's an awesome guy I, I mean I, I just absolutely love everything about what he puts on his channel he does live streams right now every Tuesday night. He uh, does a lot of outing adventures up in Canada in the uh, uh, Niagara Falls is the area he's in, and he goes out to the to Alg Algonquin Park area. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. And I, I think uh, Dave there can probably help me if I got it wrong, but uh, and and Dave has gone out camping with him and has done some activities. Dave is uh, one of the knife makers in our group. Absolutely awesome work. Uh, I love seeing his work. Uh, he, most of what you see from his stuff is over on his Instagram, but he does have uh, two videos. We're kind of pushing for three, 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 maybe sometime. But I, I know he's, he's got a lot going on at home that he's got to take care of, and I certainly understand that and absolutely respect it 100%. you got to take care of the family. So, And I'm going to see if I can get Dennis's... link here so you guys know who I'm talking about and can check him out. Apologize for this. I meant to have this all set up in advance, but the file that I had all the information with is on my computer that's downstairs in the, the basement from the move. So. this set here in a moment but yeah I definitely want you guys to to check him out he's um, and he, he's loyal he, he will definitely um, you know be loyal to your channel check out your videos as well as uh, give you feedback on them so yeah he's definitely a good channel and that's what I like about our group uh, everybody that joins us, uh, we definitely help each other out. Like Tyler helped me out get to my 1K. Uh, we're, we're just showing the love back to, to, to help Dennis get to his. And, you know, it's these little mile markers that mean a lot to everybody. Let's see if I can get this going here. Helps if I spell canoe right. All right, here it comes, everybody. Hey, BP fishing, good to see you. Andrew, good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, come on in. You know, as you can see, I got plenty of room here. You guys, uh, join me. I'm out here on the back patio, uh, enjoying the the nice weather. It's a little bit warm today, and there is Canoe Hound Adventures link. If you guys don't have him, we are helping him get to one one k. He is just an absolutely awesome guy. Uh, and you know i don't want to spoil alert but you guys got to watch his videos all the way to the end for some reason at the end of his videos he, he always has a little bit of something that if you don't stick around you're going to miss something that's really cool so definitely check that out 
I appreciate that uh, Grizzly Whiskers there. You guys check out Grizzly Whiskers too. He's uh, he's another great channel that's part of our group. Definitely good supporter. Um, I'm not uh, pushing everybody to you know go subscribe. I'm uh, just you know letting you know these are great channels, uh, and I think highly of them. Where uh, you know you, you might see the name and wonder what they're about. Yeah, you might go check it out, but it, it's always nice if you get that little extra, you know, insight from some other people that have visited their channels and said, that, like, oh yeah, you know, they're, they're a great channel, they're, they're good, so definitely check them out, um, and, you know, any of these channels, Dennis at Canoe Hound Adventures, if you check him out, uh, good guy, um, you know, if it's not your thing, if it's not anything you're interested in, I, I don't see any reason to give a thumbs down. It, um, to me, a thumbs down is, it, it's almost very limited usage. I might use it in the, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the autocorrect. Did it get you? Dave, yeah, it gets me a lot too. Uh, I hope I spelled it right because I did a cut and paste. But, uh, yeah, so, you, you know, the only time for a thumbs down to me is like real serious clickbait. And I'm talking about, uh, you, you know, like one in. An example that uh, really twerked to me was uh, one that said somebody was uh, catching uh, double digit bass. Uh, that means, you know, over 10 pounds. And, you know, which is not a common thing. So, watch through the whole video, like, uh, you know, almost 30 minutes of it. And then at the very end, they said, and we didn't catch any double digit bass. That was their only reference to it. That is really pathetic clickbait to me. Um, they, as a matter of fact, they lost a subscriber and I refused to watch any more of their videos. So that right there is, is why clickbait is a problem to me. Hey, there's my buddy Mike Bailey. Good to see ya. <laughs> Give you an old fist bump there. Great to see you coming by. Uh, have you been out fishing lately, buddy? Um, I have not. Uh, like I said, I am in Illinois trying to find places to go fishing and waiting for my uncle who does a lot of uh, fishing in this area to get back. He's on vacation right now. I think he's due back towards the end of the month, so uh, we'll get the inside report from him then. But until then, I'll just have to go a little stir crazy. And we got Johnny. Hello, good to see you. Come on in, grab a seat. As you can see, there's uh, plenty of seats around here. Just uh, jump in, say hi to everybody. Uh, Jen is always hungry, so not a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, you say you're gonna go fishing. You get that. As soon as you walk out the door, you get that text. I'm hungry. Got to turn around and go back. Yeah, I get it. Uh, see another new face in here. I'm gonna have to check out some of these channels. Uh, not recognizing the the names, so that might be a result of you guys sharing things out. And I definitely appreciate everybody sharing out. It's definitely uh, the way to do things. Uh, everybody helping everybody out. And got Ralph's trucking in there. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Honk, honk. Good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Um, I think I saw you briefly in one of the other uh, live streams earlier, but uh, I think before I got a chance to uh, say howdy to you, uh, either I missed you or what. No AC? Yeah, there's no AC out here. And uh, I, But I think you're probably talking about in your truck. Uh, which is uh, 
I get it. I used to drive a truck. Um, I, I drove over the road. I drove for USA Trucking, and I was doing the GM run between uh, Detroit and Shreveport, and it was team driving as well. So uh, we had a, a about there where we went without air conditioning. Your truck's totally dead or just the air conditioning's totally dead? I sh certainly hope not the truck. I know you were in a uh, loaner truck there for a while. Did you ever... Okay, so the AC, yeah. Did you, did you ever get your truck back? Because I know you were in a loaner one. That would be kind of a, a bummer. If you guys don't mind, smash that like. Uh, appreciate that. Kind of lets me know you're there. Um, and it, if you're new to my channel, if you don't mind, um, go find one of my you know shorter, smaller videos. Leave a little comment there. Uh, it's hard for me to you know stay up with the game of catching everybody. And if I you know haven't subscribed to you, going to your channel, and getting you. So leave me a comment on one of my uh, little smaller videos um, and I'll definitely get over to your channel and check you out as well and you know I definitely appreciate you coming by and appreciate everybody that uh, shares it out so like uh, Joseph um, I am uh, checking out your channel here we're gonna get you 479 subscribers got you Joseph, you need a banner. I need to get one of those rolling. Rob Parker's Fishing World. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you. And my, my, my backup computer here is... Uh, a really old computer otherwise I would be doing my live stream on it and everything would be a lot smoother but uh, it doesn't have a camera on it it only has two gig of memory so it definitely couldn't handle a live stream and it's about 10 years old anyway but it's good enough for me to be able to have up and see the chat so if you see me spend time looking over this way you know what that's all about Fishing room, trying to get my videos to all be in HD. Understand that? Rattle trap fishing. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you. Appreciate everybody coming by. We got Simple Man's Barbecue. How are you doing? Come on in. As you can see, we got plenty of seat in here. Join us. Uh, one of the things we're doing tonight is we are trying to help uh, Canoe Hound Adventures find his way to uh, 1k I'm throwing his link up here uh, he's not here at the moment I think he had some family uh, that he was visiting with so uh, you know maybe we'll catch him at some point but uh, definitely a great channel lots of adventures out in his canoe uh, he takes his dog Molly with him uh, he has gone on uh, camping trips and he's taken uh, Dave from Beastly Ironworks who was in here earlier I'm not sure if he's still here at the moment but it's always good to see Dave out and about and yeah so you guys if if you guys need some help uh, I know I mentioned there on uh, Joseph that he needed to get a banner going uh, I'm not too good with banners, but I am good with, you know, like titles for videos, you know, helping you realize the concept of what you, you need for a title or the tags, the hashtags, hashtags, guys, um, it's an untapped resource, you gotta start using them, um, but learn how to use them properly 
uh, see so many people putting the hashtags at the very beginning of the about section of their videos. Problem with that is the, I believe it's like the first 200 characters or the first three lines of the about section of a video is the absolute most important thing for that video as far as, you know, getting it into the search engine and understanding what it's about. And if you just put, uh, hi everyone, how's it going? I, uh, I went fishing today. Okay, well, I guess it could probably pick up that you went fishing. That's about it. There's a ton of people that go fishing. So, you're going to be fighting with all those videos that had people going fishing. So, might want to be a, a little more uh, specific with those words. You think of it as prime real estate. Um, uh, like on a car lot. Uh, you put your best vehicles out in the front of the lot on the and the best vehicle goes on the corner on the the raised platform things like that so you, you really want to uh, make sure you're putting your best foot forward in the about section so if you put your tags up there at the beginning it doesn't really understand special characters in the sense of you know the hash unless it's putting it for the purpose of the hashtag so it's not for the purpose of the search engine it's the purpose of the hashtag so if you'll notice on the video there you will see hashtag herbert t outdoors and hashtag herbert t um, those are in the bottom section of the about section of this video but it put them beneath that the first three tags that you put on a video will show up underneath the video you can put up to 15, but only the first three will show up under there. So, and, and be very specific about the order of uh, the first three. The first three showing up underneath there, don't put camping, don't put bushcrafting, don't put common words, because if you were to click on one of those, like if you click on Herbert T. Outdoors, it's going to take you to a search of all videos that have Herbert T. Outdoors in it, and it's going to pull up all my videos. If you have camping, and you click on, you know, hashtag camping, and you click on hashtag camping, you think your video is going to show up? No. And you just, and if it's on somebody else looking at your video and they click on that, you think they're going to still be on your channel once they do it? No. So, there's your key points there. Keep it in mind. 20 pound black drum, 26 pound black drum. Wow, wow, that's big. I'm gonna check that out, Rob. Definitely. Um, simple man, any way you can help me with tags? I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay, simple man, uh, what I want you to do is pick one of your. Uh, you know, if you got a, a, a video that you're super proud of, but you just don't think it's getting uh, the results that you want. And on my uh, banner, or, or my about section, actually, if you just go to the about section, there's, uh, you can click on and get my email address. Send me an email with the link to that video that we're discussing here. I'll pull it up, I'll look at your tags, uh, I'll watch the video, and I can kind of get an idea of what tags you've used and maybe offer a suggestion for a better title that's more descriptive, uh, a way to do the about section and how you use those two combined to make your tags. It's easier for me to write that out and if you send it to me in an email when I write that out I can respond back to you and explain it uh, in, in a little more detail. Uh, it, uh, one of the things I, I was wanting to be able to do is do live streams using the OBS where I could actually show you on the screen, uh, you know, looking at the, the tags and stuff that I've done in my videos and how I use vidIQ and TubeBuddy to show me scores for rankings when I put those kind of words in there 
and how it improves my ranking in the search engine. If you guys load those up, those are extensions for Google Chrome, and they're you don't have to pay for their their full blown version. Uh, it just gives you enough information to get you rolling, especially since we're new channel starting out. So, uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Simple Man Barky, you send me that email. I'll look it out. I'll check it out. I'll get you. Uh, some information will get you rolling and yeah Tyler can tell you um, it works you know the stuff works I've helped him get uh, one of his videos went from like 60 views to I think we're nine or ten thousand views in a month or a little over a month now so yeah definitely all in how you, you present it, so you always want to put your best foot forward for it. Uh, and like I said, you know, think of it like a uh, showing a new car. You know, you 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 want the about sections, like the sticker on the window. And if, if you put on the sticker, you know, uh, this is a car. Uh, it drives fast. You know people the first thing they're looking for is the important details of the vehicle uh, you know key things like uh, miles per gallon uh, you know just the key stuff like that the price so if you're if you throw in those key important things in the first part of your about section that's what the search engine is going to use and the second part of uh, the way to look at it is think in terms of when you are searching for a video, a, a video of a specific topic, what do you put in to search for? So if you were going to search for uh, hammock camping uh, with a hammock setup or something like that, so you might say uh, set up a hammock for camping um, so there's some things you might search for so why wouldn't that be your tag uh, you know hammock camping not just hammock and not just camping but hammock camping put the words together those make good tags now if you make it too long you, you, you know uh, hammock camping in the uh, Ozark Mountain uh, backwoods uh, deep in the, the valleys of uh, Blue Rivers or something like that you know that's that's a really long title for something and if you put that as the entire uh, tag it's, it's way too long nobody's gonna search for that entire full length of it. so you got to find that happy medium of the smaller words together hi Dave love you too buddy I definitely appreciate you being here so anybody got any other questions of, of tags or titles um, like I said I'm definitely uh, like to help people out um, I, you know, I kind of look at it like if you make it to my channel and, and watch my live stream, um, you're supporting me. So my way of supporting you guys back is, you know, helping you with uh, your videos and your tags. And I'm, I'm, I'm certainly no expert on it, but I, I, when I do these things, when I give these tips and stuff like that, it's because I'm using the analytics the, the uh, vid IQ, the tube buddy to, to give me results and I see that those results are working so it's not based off of you know just oh I heard this YouTube uh, channel say it works I've heard uh, this uh, I Google searched it and this site said it works uh, I'm seeing the numbers that prove that it works so now, why am I not uh, sitting at uh, 10 million subscribers and, and 
you know, 100 million views on my videos, I'm a new channel. I haven't been around long, and I sometimes neglect. Uh, my last uh, four videos, I haven't put any time doing uh, thumbnails or uh, put a little bit of time into tweaking the uh, tags and stuff. But it's, it's really hard to do it when it's a live stream and, and you cover a lot of subjects. Um, but this one in particular, this live stream started off about the, the corn monkey report, which I plan on doing videos for uh, going out and hunting for corn monkeys uh, ah so, so simple man's heard that uh, some other tubers uh, so the words getting out there about me uh, I, I like to call it uh, my uh, let's see uh, phone's getting a little hot. Maybe we might end up uh, shutting it down here. Let's see. Well, it doesn't feel too hot. We'll see how it goes here. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, the word's spreading. Uh, like I said, I uh, definitely like helping you guys out. You know, you guys showing up my channel show support to me. I'll do what I can to help you guys. I neglect my channel. I know I do. Um, those, like I said, those couple videos, I need to, to do a little work on them. But um, I'm doing this for fun. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy helping you guys. Um, I also, I don't know if you guys saw in the about section there. Uh, I have the uh, official gear. Um, uh, got uh, the t-shirts and stuff. If you guys could go over there and at least check them out. You, you know, let me know how the, the looks, uh, the colors. Um, do some of the colors not look right together? Uh, you know, because, again, it is my uh, HTO, the Herbert T. Outdoors. Uh, logo with the orange it's got the black border around it and the letters just like you see on my uh, logo here on YouTube and I put that up there on on the shirts and and actually kind of look cool to me on so many different ones so uh, oh the backyard yes uh, appreciate that simple man barbecue this is actually uh, the backyard of the house that my dad grew up in. My dad actually helped build this house. Um, and it was absolutely, uh, a, a, it's a beautiful town. Uh, everything in this town is, just seems immaculate. It's, it, it's almost like it's uh, Mayberry 20, 30 years later, uh, I, I can't remember the population. I want to say it's like 16 to 18,000. But uh, everybody's lawns are immaculate, their yards are immaculate. Uh, you probably didn't get to see it the other night when I did my live out here, and I'm going to see if I can rotate this around and show you something. This this big tree right over here, I used to climb that when I was barely tall enough to, to reach those branches and start climbing it. So here I am probably uh, just sh shy of 50 years later, <laughs> same place, that's where I'm staying for now. I just moved back here to Illinois and uh, you know, staying here, this is my parents' place. But yeah, absolutely beautiful here. You hear the the locusts, which are a little bit annoying. I apologize if it's annoying to listen to them all through the live. I can't get them to shut up, but uh, I actually kind of like it for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I grew up with it. But uh, yeah, it is nice to, to live in a beautiful town, knowing that once you go 
on the outskirts of it from there on everywhere is cornfields, cornfields, cornfields. But the good side to it is, it means the corn monkeys are going to be out soon and I'm going to be going hunting for some corn monkeys. Working on getting my uh, permit, or my, my hunting permit for it. So that's, that's going to be interesting. Cicadas, yeah. Yeah, definitely. They're definitely here. Like uh, we got five watching. I know Tyler uh, probably watching in the background. He's hanging with his uh, his daughter, I'm sure, and probably his wife. Um, but Simple Man's Barbecue or anybody else is still here. If you got some issue, some more questions about the the tags and titles, hashtags, things like that, uh, just let me know. Good fish bait cicadas are. Uh, you know, I've never tried them. Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. All right, but first, I got to find a place to go fish in here. Um, it, uh, I, I've used Google Maps uh, with a satellite view to try to find places to go, and I know there's some some places that are probably about 50 minutes uh, east of here. You might as well say an hour east of here uh, that I could probably go. I'm used to going on uh, like city lakes that you know no big boats are allowed or or at least uh, no uh, no wake lakes or even no gas engines. Uh, no simple men. I moved from Arkansas to Illinois, so uh, that's why you know. I, I missed some of my outdoor opportunities that I had, but uh, I'm sure I'm going to find some. It's just going to take some, some getting out and looking around. Um, I know there's some places with hiking trails, but uh, I really want to get out and maybe do some, some camping. Uh, I definitely love bass fishing. I'm all about bass fishing. You can look at my channel and see the... Uh, the kayak and how it's all decked out. I got a depth finder on it. I carry seven fishing rods on there. Probably uh, enough tackle to outfit uh, five or six people easily. But I'm always prepared wherever I go. So, and I'm back in the state where my personal best bass uh, were I caught. But it's like back when I was, I'm guessing seven, eight years old. So, yeah, Cass, Arkansas. Yeah, um, I, I'm actually familiar with that. Um, it is beautiful there. And, and yeah, Arkansas's got a lot of beautiful places. Before I was in Arkansas, I was in Colorado, you know, and I lived in the, I lived out on the, uh, the foothills area in front of the mountains, and uh, Chase, hey, good to see you, buddy. Appreciate you coming in. I don't think there's anything in my channel uh, uh, such as being late. I think it's just, you know, come and come as you please. Uh, come on in, as you can see. There's. Plenty of places to sit, grab a seat, uh, grab a, a drink of choice and enjoy, get to know everybody. Uh, we got Tyler here, Simple Man's Barbecue. We were just talking a little about uh, some fishing and uh, he used to be in Arkansas himself. Uh, where are you at now, Simple Man's Barbecue? good stuff it's just water folks but <laughs> it's good stuff and finally it's cooled down to it is absolutely calm. Dallas Texas uh, hot there hot 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 well, it's hot here too but it's not I'm sure not as hot as Dallas Texas 
but yeah, definitely probably a good place to, to do barbecue. And, uh, I know I used to live in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and Memphis has the uh, Memphis in May, the Riverside uh, barbecue. So basically, they have a a park that is uh, about a mile long. It's between uh, you know the main bridge coming off of I-40, and it runs down the whole uh, Riverside Drive and a little beyond it actually and so they will shut down that road there during the month of may and it's just nothing but barbecue in there and the thing about it is you can't just walk in and you know buy some barbecue it's put on by uh, different businesses um, cook you know people that professionally go around and barbecue and such and they don't it's not there for sale it's for the competition and but if you know somebody from or your business is sponsoring a booth there and doing barbecue then yes by all means so you come down and you eat with them and whatnot and one year i got lucky i was able to be a judge for one of their events uh, yeah i was so see yeah see Simple Man knows about the Memphis in May. Uh, Myron Nixon and Malcolm Reed. It's awesome. Uh, I was a judge for showmanship. And showmanship is where they, uh, some of the people that had uh, booths would put on a, a show, um, a little skit. And it always seemed like the, the, the casinos there from uh, Tunica, Mississippi would come in and put on uh, big shows. They would spend, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars to to do a show and it was always interesting. <laughs> they didn't win that much considering the amount of money that they put into it. But I got to judge the early morning round where you go around to their booths and then they narrow it down to a, a smaller group uh, uh, and then they will bring those up on the main stage and then they'll do another judging midday and then they'll do a judging in the evening and each time they have they rotate out the judges so once i was done judging in the morning uh i didn't have to do any more judging and so they give you an apron that uh, says you know the memphis and may barbecue and you got a badge that says you're a judge it doesn't say that you're a showmanship judge. It doesn't say you're a judge for uh, the uh, pulled pork or the barbecued uh, beef ribs or barbecued pork. It doesn't say you're a judge for that. It just says you're a judge. Well, you walk around the event and people see you wearing a judge apron and you will not leave that place until you are about to explode because you will be fed more barbecue and given more drinks than any barbecue you could ever go to. So becoming a judge for that is absolutely awesome. Uh, the Carver Family Fishing, good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, come on in, grab a seat. As you can see, there is plenty of room. Uh, grab a drink of your choice. Uh, mine happens to be uh, water tonight. Kind of warm. Seemed appropriate. Yeah, you definitely do. I, uh, fortunately, the way I got to be the judge, uh, a friend of mine was on a committee that helps plan out the Memphis in May and she just called me up and randomly said you know hey would you like to be a judge uh, we need one for in the morning and of course it's the it's on a Friday morning when they do it not many people could get off work but uh, I had an easy schedule so I could do that and I was able to do it so it worked out just fine guys I am going to throw up a link here uh, 
going up Canoe Hound Adventures link here if you guys haven't got him. Um, just ask if you guys don't mind, check him out. He is on his he's on his push to 1K. And it would be absolutely awesome if we could help him get a little closer to it. Uh, definitely not a you know, full sense of the, the the term networking channel where, you know, we try to, you know, you sub me, I sub you type thing. Uh, not what I'm about. We're just trying to help each other out. Awesome. Uh, you know, so, uh, oh, so Simple Man appreciates the share of me telling about the, the Memphis and May barbecue stuff. Yeah, it's, I, I never ate so much. I, I just stuffed myself. Uh, people handed me drinks and food so fast, and I don't think I even made it a quarter of the way through before I was stuffed. That's that's how easily and and willing the people were to give you what they had because I thought you were the judge that was going to get them uh, fully recognized. Let's see, Garden Makeover. Hey, good to see you. Uh, appreciate you coming in. You're getting ready to leave for work. Um, sorry you have to work on a, a beautiful evening like tonight. We're out here on the back patio. Uh, it was kind of warm when I started, but it's actually cooled down and it is quite comfortable. Yeah, the sub for sub thing, and and I kind of fell prey to it too. I'll be honest, I admit it. Um, when I started my my YouTube channel, I made some blunders, and the first one, you know, you do a, if you do a Google search, because you find out that you need a thousand su subscribers and four thousand watch hours to get monetized. So the first thing that comes to mind, I'm going to do a Google search, how to get more subscribers. Well, there's a video out there that will tell you that, you know, you can go to this channel or this web page and you create an account there and you're given like a thousand points. And for every time you go watch somebody's video or like it or subscribe to them whichever one you you know you get points for these things and then you post that you will give so many points for each one of those options in return so like if they want to uh, you know, and a lot of times there's people that offer way more points than necessary but they're really trying to get their numbers fast but let's say you offer uh, 15 points to watch your one of your videos so somebody goes and watch your video in order for them to get their 15 points they only have to watch like maybe 30 seconds of it and then they're they're boom they're gonna click off so the first thing that's gonna do is kill your analytics second thing is uh, YouTube is on to it, so they will eventually purge that stuff out of there. Um, so, stay away from those. Stay away from the ones that say if you pay them so much, they will, uh, you know, they're big channels and they'll push you to get to where you are. Because if you're not growing organically, you're, you're killing yourself. Especially if you are trying to get your channel to where it's something that will uh, promote uh, product or something like where you would have a sponsor and you would make money from it. Because they're going to go look at your analytics and they're going to see spike and flat line. And spike and then flat line. And they're going to want you to explain it. Well, okay, I have some of those. Um, those were actually when uh, some Google AdSense was done to uh, help promote the channel. Uh, it did promote views. It, uh, I wouldn't say it, it helped get too many subscribers. 
uh, I think most of the subscribers that I'm getting organically are because uh, word is spreading that I'm helping channels uh, figure out how to do things. So like I said, I'm admitting that I've, I've made these mistakes when I first started. Um, and let's see, watch the first 15 that shows up. When I go online, plus there's several people that watch all the time. Yeah, it, it does get hard. You know, when you become a bigger channel, the more you, you know, people you get, you know, you'd love to be able to promise everybody you're going to watch all their videos, uh, but you can't always get to them. Uh, you, you, you do your best, uh, and, and that's all anybody can do, and, and everybody appreciates that. Um, again, the you know, I'm talking about the mistakes that I made starting my channel. Uh, I also, you know, got into the, you know, oh, well, it seems like if you do the sub for sub thing, you know, then you'll, you'll grow fast there too. But what I found out in the sub for sub thing, and I'm sure all of you know that, uh, if, if you just sub uh, to somebody and they sub you back, they don't watch a video or they don't watch enough of the video and, and then they unsub you it hurts your analytics and it, uh, your numbers will you know spike and then drop spike and then drop so if you can get into uh, some groups of people with similar channels help each other out like uh, I've got canoe hound adventures I'm gonna throw his up there again He's one of our, our buddies in our group that we just absolutely love his work. And I will tell you that I love his his work, his, his videos and everything, uh, because I believe in him. And he believes in me. He watches my videos. So uh, I'm going to help somebody that helps me as well. You guys being here, I'll help you guys. I may not be able to do the best in videos that pertain to what you know maybe you're interested in but guess what I can help you with tags titles hashtags things like that so I, I do have something to offer you garden makeover says they don't unsub anyone but I will unclick the bell if I don't care for their channel uh, totally understandable and it, it, nobody says you have to subscribe when you when you go check out a channel that's entirely up to you uh, I don't push that you do it would be nice uh, it would be nice you know if everybody clicked my thumbs up when I said you know hey don't forget to click the thumbs up uh, that helps my analytics uh, likes comments you know all that stuff they all count uh, towards uh, promoting videos you know the more you have of it the more YouTube will show emphasis on it so uh, and you pay attention to those things but again like I said I got caught up in that the sub for sub world um, there is a place for it there is a place for the the marketing uh, uh, groups uh, so I don't want to say uh, don't be a part of the the groups that you know all, all they talk about is you know check out this channel check out that channel and they uh, post the links of, of you know try to post the links to everybody and uh, it's, it's not a bad thing it is a good thing for a new growing channel to get you exposure to other channels uh, help you find channels of, of similar content because when they do live streams like that it's like we're doing here we're talking to each other it's hard to get that uh, talk to somebody approach if you just watch the video and the only thing you can do is put a comment on it and maybe they will or maybe they won't respond to it so uh, best thing to uh, in, in the early stages is to do like they say, be genuine, uh, watch the videos. 
I don't want I don't want to beat that uh, dead horse to death. We all know about it. We all do uh, our best to, to help. But there are those that, you know, just troll it. And, and most of the ones that I find that are doing it are, uh, no offense to them, but it is the, the younger channels. Uh, and when I say younger channels, uh, younger kids uh, that have a channel and they haven't quite got the big picture of things. And they fall into that sub for sub and they'll come in your... Uh, your channels and they'll sit there and say uh, you know you subscribe to me I subscribe to you back I'm genuine you don't need to say that you don't need to say you know I got you or I know I've, I've seen a lot of people that will you know when they're people are recommending my channel to them They'll come over, their comment on the video will be, I got you, so now you come check me out and get me back. That's asking sub for sub. I won't do it. Now, if you come in and you say a genuine comment about my video, um, I'm going to go check out your videos and I'm going to, you know, subscribe if it's something that I like and I hope, you know, certainly hope you subscribe because maybe you like something I did. So. Food Force Permaculture, good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. Come on in. Plenty of seating. Uh, grab a drink of your choice. Mm. Kick back and enjoy. We're out here on the back patio enjoying the, the beautiful weather. Listening to the cicadas. We're, we're also uh, helping my buddy Dennis over at Canoe Hound Adventures, who is, uh, I, I put him uh, in the chat there, a link for him. We're trying to uh, get him to his uh, 1K. Uh, Amy and Moore, good to see ya. Can't hardly hear ya. I have my speakers all the way up. sure if I can bring it in a little bit closer. Apologize for that. I'm going to hope I don't get a lot of echo here. I turn on for that. I'm going to uh, I might be on your end because I'm turn. playing it on my end and I hear it just fine. So uh, I might be on your end here. Not sure if you're playing it on your phone or uh, on a computer where the speakers are covered up. I know my laptop, my laptop speakers are terrible. So, uh, as you can see, I have this external uh, speaker here that uh, does wonders. It's uh, one that, uh, you know, one of those that you can charge up and uh, plug it into your phone or it's not Bluetooth, but I have one of the older iPods, the, uh, one of the video iPods, and I take out fishing with me, and has music on it, and the crickets sound lovely. <laughs> That's actually the cicadas. Uh, they're, uh, the, the crickets are more down on the ground, the cicadas are up in the trees, so that's what you're hearing, making the sound. I could actually, you know, if it gets a little bit cooler, and, you know, if I had me a hammock, I'd probably uh, put it between these two pillars over here. Spin it around so you can see it. Hey, Grant, good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. As you can see, I got the, the two pillars, here, one here and one in the back over there. I could string a hammock between it and be able to uh, just hang out here, enjoy this nice weather, listen to the cicadas. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, pretty much. Um, it, I know they, they said that the, I think the cicada is the one that comes there every, 
I always thought they said they came every 17 years or something like that, but I pretty much hear them every year, and they'll stay going like this for quite a while. I can't remember if they, if once it gets dark, if they uh, still do that, or, or if it's uh, all the time, but during the, the mid part of the day, sunny, hot, and everything, they're you don't hear them that much, but definitely in the evening times, that's when they really enjoy making their music. <laughs> Neighbor's dog. But yeah, definitely, we got Grant McIntosh in here, and as I was talking um, about the, the the networking groups, uh, Grant's part of the, the Grow team. Um, they, uh, you know, help with the promoting of, of channels, and it's, it definitely, you guys go check him out. But he's also, uh, he's great with night crawlers. Uh, I, I, I'll call him the, the master of, of, of worms. Uh, you know, I, won't, I don't want to make that sound bad, but uh, yeah, the, when I talk about worms and talking about the, you know, like the night crawlers, he is the master of them. And I wish I could figure out how he he keeps them uh, growing so well. I mean, he just does an awesome job with it. Composting worms, yeah. Uh, I tried a little bit before I left Arkansas. Um, I had to apologize to to those worms. I killed them. I captured uh, probably about two dozen of them. Although I will call them suicide worms. They would uh, after some, you know, after it would rain a couple of days, uh, off and on. They would start coming out in the middle of the day, in the, the absolute heat of the day. They would crawl across hot pavement and get uh, just either fried or picked off by the birds. They would crawl on top of the grass, not down in the grass. And I, and I know they were trying to get them up and out of the water and didn't want to be sitting in the water, but getting up on the very tip top of it where birds can just spot them and pick them off easily. That's why I called them suicide worms. So uh, I grabbed a bunch of them, thought I would uh, start my own little worm farm, and I didn't make it. Uh, garden makeover, I am in Illinois now. I'm in central Illinois, uh, surrounded by corn. Everywhere you look is corn. Uh, of course, not here in the city, but you know, once you, once you get outside of town, it just turns into cornfields every which way. And thus, the title for the uh, video, the Corn Monkey Report. There has been uh, sightings of signs of them, but not yet sightings of the corn monkeys. Uh, I'm in the process of getting my uh, permit for hunting them. Uh, being new to, uh, to the state, which actually, uh, I'm not really new to the state because I was born here, uh, but moving back here, um, it's a little bit difficult process to, you know, establish your residency and then uh, prove that you're a resident and, and then get to go. What's a corn monkey? Corn monkey is a, uh, it's in the same family as Sasquatch and Bigfoot, but it is smaller, uh, somewhere between the size of like a spider monkey and a chimpanzee. Um, and they go into hibernation. They, they will hide out all winter long and uh, in, even in the spring they'll hide out and, until corn gets tall enough for them to uh, come out and be able to flourish in the corn and uh, stay hidden. So uh, you will uh, 
you will definitely have a hard time finding them. They are, they're more vicious than uh, I would say any species, uh, primate species. Uh, they're like the ninjas of, of the cornfield. Uh, Grant, you've never heard of a corn monkey. Well, you, you have now and you will in the future because I'm going to be coming out with some uh, some footage here hopefully hopefully we'll get a chance to catch some on film um, but uh, they are very hard to find they blend in so well with corn uh, their coloring uh, you know the cornfields are you know they have a green coloring with them uh, they have uh, kind of a, a blondish uh, long hair on the top that you know blends in with like the tassels on corn the uh, pointed ears you know so it looks like the blades of uh, the corn their their arms are more flattened out and, and you know just like blades I've been attacked a couple times by them as a young kid uh, we used to go running through the cornfields uh, I've had a few attacks. I also, when I got to my teens, uh, one of the things around here is, uh, in this area in Illinois, they do detasseling, and that's pulling out the tassels at the top of the corn, so they will pull those, uh, and then they use the pollination from a field next to it to cross-pollinate. And so you're out there in these fields where there's corn monkeys everywhere, hiding, waiting to attack. So, uh, definitely not something for the, uh, the, the weak to, to venture into these cornfields by yourself. So when we moved here, we had a man tell us there was a skunk monster around here. We laughed at him. Later on, we watched the TV show and told about the skunk ape that lived in this area. Faint at heart, yes. Yep. So there you go. Um, you know, the the corn monkeys. The probably the reason they're not as uh, well known as Bigfoot or uh, the skunk apes or Sasquatch or. Uh, bomb of snowman or you know any in those lines is uh, because those have a lot more areas that they uh, reside in uh, there's fewer states that have uh, cornfields um, there's you know like you won't find it uh, in the jungles of Central America, because those are jungles, uh, there's not a lot of cornfields there. So, therefore, do I? I believe in Bigfoot. Um, don't know yet. I haven't. I have never seen one. So, you know, um, you, you know, I've never. Uh, Officially seen a corn monkey. You know, I know they're out there. I've been attacked, but I've gotten the cuts from them. Uh, so I know they're there. Uh, you know, until, until I, I actually see them, though, uh, kind of like not 100%. So still a coin toss, still up in the air. You know? And it, and you know how many actual real footage real views uh, proof of, of bones are there of sasquatch uh, bigfoot uh, skunk apes things like that yeah there's a lot of videos out there there's a lot of guys running around in costumes it'd be very hard for somebody to run around in a costume and look like a corn monkey though because they're uh, you have to be a very tiny person to fit into a costume and fake one of those. So that's why you won't see a lot of fake videos of corn monkeys. And you probably won't see a lot of videos out there, period. 
stealing on corn monkeys. But I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to uh, get the word out there so everybody knows. Definitely got to check it out. And I'm sorry, folks. Uh, you know, the one thing is uh, we got these snaps that hang around out here. And these little things, for some reason, want to bite you too. They're not mosquitoes. They're they're actual gnats. Call this town Skunkville. There are a lot of skunks here. Huh. I wouldn't like that. I don't like the smell of uh, skunks. Tell you what, if Bigfoot is real, then Ozarks would be a great place to hide. I actually have uh, one of the one of the guys in our group. Um, he is in the Ozarks area, and he does uh, videos where he goes searching for uh, Bigfoot. So. Uh, uh, I had actually hoped when I was in Arkansas to get up and visit him and us do like a collaboration video. Uh, you know, I'm an outdoors channel and I, I, you know, I thought I was an outdoorsman, you know, because I hunt and I fish and I camp, a little bit of hiking. But, uh, it, you know, as soon as I really got into YouTube, began to realize the broad spectrum of, uh, you know, what I kind of put myself in being an outdoors channel, because there's, you know, all those things, there's bushcrafting, there's uh, uh, prepping skills, survival skills, uh, homesteading skills that deal with the outdoors, you know, all this stuff, so I'm going to try my hand in some of these other things. Uh, probably do some videos on it. I did a video, or uh, I, I recently did, uh, I made a uh, paracord bracelet uh, that, you know, I didn't realize just how much paracord goes into a little 8 inch bracelet to fit around the wrist. Uh, it, uh, I used the ladder pattern and it wound up being like 14 foot of paracord went into that and and you know down you know 14 foot of paracord down to eight inches and that would be cool to you know be in a survival situation and oh i need some paracord and i can take this little bracelet and you know turn it into something so uh no tyler you didn't miss anything uh we're just uh kind of going over the corn monkey um, and you're over there in Iowa so uh, you got a lot of corn fields over there too so I'm sure you have heard of the corn monkey know a little bit about it how vicious they are but uh, I'm actually in the process of applying for my permit to hunt for them and I uh, some of you may or may not find this interesting I showed this earlier to uh, Dave at Beastly Ironworks, he had stopped in to the channel, but uh, this right here is my cataragus knife that uh, my father has graciously uh, passed it on to me. I, I had one previously, uh, it, it kind of got lost in the move, and I was very saddened for a long time that I didn't have it because uh, I had one, both of my brothers had one. It's, uh, these are from like World War II. Uh, there was something, and I'm still looking up the history on it. It is the Cataragus uh, 225Q. Uh, very, uh, very sturdy very hard steel knife uh, absolutely awesome and uh, can't wait to, to use it get it out there uh, do some uh, bushcrafting and stuff I know this has been used a lot for hunting so yeah so there you go see Tyler's telling you about those corn monkeys um, the, you know, like I told you, I've been attacked by them, never saw them, 
but I got the, you know, I had the battle scars, I had the, the slashes, uh, you know, they're, they're not about, you know, the, their arms are like razor sharp, but it's not about them, uh, like, trying off fingers or, or cut off your arms or anything like that. They, they want to do that slice, so it's just painful enough that, uh, it doesn't kill you, but it annoys you enough that you want to get out of there. You want to be out of there going to you. So you haven't, you don't have the locusts there, Tyler? I could have swore uh, when we used to make visits up there to Iowa to my grandfather's, I, I heard him up there, but of course that's been a long time ago. I may be remembering it wrong. And Garden Makeover had to leave. Uh, appreciate you coming by. Um, always good to see you. Hope uh, I gave some, some good information to you. We got uh, Granny's Florida Garden. Hello, good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. Come on in, grab a seat. As you can see, there's plenty of room. Grab a, a beverage of your choice and enjoy with us. Enjoying the, uh, uh, you know, I'm her you know, my channel is Herbert T. Outdoors. I'm Dan. Uh, Herbert T. is the crazy old character that tells some of his stories on here. But uh, today I'm, I'm drinking water, so I guess uh, I'm drinking H2O on the HTO channel today. So there you go. <laughs> kind of a tongue twister. Say that three times real fast. Yeti cup. Uh, this is actually, I don't know if it has the name on the, on the bottom. This is actually from Green Steel. I got this from Enlightened Skywatcher. Uh, as uh, I think the, the Mega Beast cup or something. But, uh, he was doing this on a uh, giveaway for when he reached one of his milestones. And I, I was lucky enough to, to, to be the recipient of it. But like it, it very much like the Yeti cups. But I would say that as far as the lid goes and the seal on this, the slide here, this is leaps and bounds better than the Yeti. And this cup's probably cheaper than the Yeti as well, so uh, you guys ought to check them out. Um, and also check out the Light Sky Watcher. Uh, very informative guy, gives a lot of uh, information. Uh, he talks about the, uh, the chemtrails. So when I click on my YouTube profile, it says 2, 2K subscribers, but when I get into it, it says 1626 for some reason did YouTube change that finally I think they have actually changed and let me look at it I know it was coming and we were real close to it um, but I, they were going to the rounding up uh, or, or rounding off of your your numbers so anything below 1k they would uh, They would keep it, you know, as the actual number, or, or try to show you as close to it as they could. Uh, I'm, I know if you look at, there's like multiple places you can look to how many subscribers, how many views, how many, how many, how much watch time, and it's all different everywhere you look. Um, but if you, uh, I think they actually enacted the thing where they're doing the rounding. So anything over 1K, if you are up to like 1.5K, they will round down, you know, just call it 1K. If you are over one, uh, like, you know, 1,500 or more, they'll probably round you up to the 2K or, or you know, I'm not sure where their exact rounding point is, but yeah, they're, 
we knew it was coming. Um, I thought it was supposed to be in August. Maybe they have already enacted it, so and it wouldn't surprise me if they have already. Ah, uh, so, you, so you made your new playlist. Yeah, I'll check those out for you, Tyler. Um, yeah, the uh, playlists. Guys, if you don't have playlists, um, you're missing out um, on opportunities for advertisements for more of your videos to get more watch time, things like that. I know you'll hear a lot of people say, oh, put all your videos in one playlist and put it on your home screen so that people will be able to click it and watch all your videos. Um, first off, number one, I believe, uh, I had no proof, but I believe that YouTube analytics will catch up on if you just put somebody's channel videos on the watch and just let them play all the way through if you do not somehow interact meaning like clicking a like leaving a comment or something like that and you play multiple videos in succession it will probably catch that and purge them out over time so uh, you're missing out on the point of that home screen Think of it. Uh, think of it like a magazine. The home screen is the cover of the magazine. You want to put key things there. You don't want to tell about every single thing in succession that's going to happen in that magazine. You put the key primary articles up front. Those are your playlists. So, if you have a series of videos like Tyler, has a series of videos about uh, uh, his, his bushcrafting and building a shelter. So he's got an epic shelter uh, bushcraft build that he did as a series, and he put all the videos pertaining to that in that playlist. And here's where uh, you get to, to utilize the playlist in two places. Number one, put that on your your uh, your home page, your tab, your home tab. So when somebody goes to your channel, that is, it will show that playlist and make it horizontal. So it will put four videos there. Okay. The second thing you want to do with it is whenever you finish a video. So when you're getting to the end of a video in that series. Don't stop it with, oh, thanks everybody for coming, have a good time, um, and always, you know, be wonderful. You know, yeah, that's nice to say those things, but about the time you start doing that, it's, oh, the video's over, click, boom, they're on to something else. Here's where you're missing the opportunity. The opportunity is to lead them on to more of your videos. So if you are finishing your video you know you're saying okay we demonstrated uh, this technique we built this and if you follow me here and you know when you do that you notice i'm leaving this space right here open right there that big square space guess what you can drop that playlist as an end screen on your video to continue on and watch more videos so they get the pleasure of joining you in more videos like as if we're not done. This is a multi-series video. You should come join me and watch all the rest of them. So that's what that's about. You want to utilize that. Now, if you're doing the first video, uh, Backyard Gardener, hello, good to see you. Come on in. Um, if you're doing the first video of a series and you, and you don't have that next video, it's okay, you know, because the way you word it, you said, okay, now follow me here. Well, it could be to a playlist of some other videos that you have 
until you build the playlist for the series you're working with. And then once you do that, then you can go back in and change that end card and it'll be great. It, it'll work out, you'll get more views on, you know, so if you develop a viral video and you have that follow me here thing, guess what? They're going to go make those other videos in that series viral. So it definitely helps out. You guys got to use that. So yeah, like Tyler said, uh, he, he made a playlist with his camping videos in it. Uh, he's going to make one for just the, the straight bush crafting skills. Um, I have uh, one that, uh, and I created this channel, it was actually right at the end of hunting season, but uh, I had, you know, Herbert T, he told uh, some, a little bit of stories uh, about hunting. Um, so I have the, the hunting videos, I have fishing videos where I've been out fishing in my kayak. Uh, I have uh, DIY videos. Uh, I, I have videos you know about how to help your channel grow um, tips just like what I'm telling you now uh, happy Colorado homestead hey great to see you come on in grab a seat I know it's getting a little bit dark um, we're about an hour and 41 minutes in here in in uh, roughly about 20 minutes or a little less uh, we're going to be looking to wrap things up we will be uh, moving on over, I believe, to uh, Tyler Woods channels where we are going to be working more on trying to get Dennis from uh, Canoe Hound Adventures to his 1K mark. Uh, awesome channel. He's, uh, I know he's over 800, and I'm going to paste his link there for you guys. Uh, if you guys get a chance, check him out. I'm not saying anybody has to subscribe to anybody, uh, but I'm sure he would appreciate it, or, or I'm sure he would at least appreciate uh, you checking out what his channel is about. And I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll really enjoy what he he offers on his channel. Um, and you know, he's part of our group. He's very supportive and loyal. Just like Tyler, he's he's been with my, me on my my live stream here. Uh, I feel bad I missed his uh, premiere of his uh, part two of his uh, canoe camping trip that he premiered tonight. So if you guys haven't got a chance to go check out that video, uh, Tyler's there. You can click the three dots, jump over to his channel, and check out that video. But uh, I usually try to catch everybody's premiere when it goes live. Premieres are awesome because you can do them. They're kind of like going live because you can sit there and have the chat. And you can talk to people while they're watching the first showing of your video. And everybody's watching it together. Just like a premiering of a, a new movie coming out. And so it's always cool to you know, be able to make comments. You and one of my brother thinks so much. Take no problem. Show that on the white. Uh, the, uh, the bot there, for some reason, likes to try to interpret what it thinks is uh, maybe spamish or inappropriate comments. And uh, I think it probably because it said emailing and it worries about. Uh, people th throwing, you know, spamming out email addresses, and my system won't allow uh, spamming of email addresses in it, so that's what my little protection bot there does, and I think it allows the word sub and subscribe, I'm not a, a fan of using those words other than uh, in descriptive sentences, uh, I'm not a fan of gotchas or grab me or snag me or throwing big world emoji icons as you know uh, you know a flag 
to I got yous or whatever. I, not a fan of any of that stuff. Be genuine. Talk to the people. Tell them what you like. Did you like their banner? I like, hey, I like your banner. Hey, I like your video on this. Let people know. Um, you'd want to know. You'd want to have good feedback. So, pay it back. Hit the like for the host. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're up to uh, 28. You know, I, I, I really, uh, honestly, I do not know anymore what my peak, um, the maximum thumbs up that in, a, in a live stream that I got. Uh, I know early on, my, I think it was my second live, I actually got rated by uh, B&O Outdoors. And I went from, and it was supposed to be a, a test live stream, and I had like three or four, and I was testing out my, uh, the, the level of my bot that monitors, uh, you know, like profanity and things like that. And for some reason, uh, somehow I, I set to only allow three emojis, and... You know, not to use the word sub or subscribe at all. Uh, and lo and behold, it just started timing out people right and left. Uh, even B&O, you know, got timed out for, uh, you know, when he came in, he threw out uh, a bunch of emojis. And, you know, here I'm excited. Oh, this is my first raid. I suddenly went from, like, three to five people up to... 90 some odd people and just absolutely uh, it was amazing it about wiped me out oh you're talking about the glare yeah I know you can see that it, oh, okay. it's just a it's just an unfortunate side effect okay. uh, uh, my dad stepping out here to tell me that the, the glare off my glasses is showing up and you know on the, the live stream here it, it happens um, even when I do my uh, live streams in in the house where I do my green screen behind me uh, it picks off my lighting around me and does terrible reflection makes it hard to see and I use these for reading so if I take these off I can barely see the text uh, that I'm watching over here on my uh, laptop. So, try to catch everything. Yeah, Simple Man, send me that email. I'll help you out there. He's more than glad to do that. And appreciate everybody smashing the, the like button. We're, we're hitting an hour and 47 minutes. Uh, and... Tyler, like I said, he is going to be going live here in a moment, uh, and we're going to raid over to him. I don't know if he is uh, working on getting things set up just yet. We're about 10 minutes, uh, 10, 12 minutes away, and we will get set up. Yes, yes, Tyler Wood uh, will be going live when uh you know about 10 minutes here i will post the link over to his live stream so you can just follow over we're gonna do a raid you know everybody that's here with us in the channel which uh looks like we've got eight people watching we'll uh see if we can get everybody over there we're gonna share it out uh, share out his live stream i'm gonna share it on my community and we'll tweet it out and we are going to work to help uh, Dennis from Canoe Hound Adventures uh, reach his, his 1K. Uh, I'm going to throw his, his link up here again. Uh, and the, the reason we do this is because we believe in Dennis. Uh, Dennis is a really great guy. He does his uh, live streams as well as uh, his outdoor adventures canoeing up in Canada. Uh, he lives around the Niagara Falls area and uh, goes camping out in the Algonquin Park area and does some other areas. He, 
uh, recently did a four-day trip with some guys uh, not only from Canada but uh, from other countries and uh, I don't want to spoil it for you so you guys go check out the videos uh, they're great um, especially when he, <laughs> he he keeps showing where he's out there cooking a steak and uh, every time I watch one of those things I just want to run out and, and buy a steak because it looks so good I am going to see here. I don't know if Tyler is set up yet. Or, like I said, we're approaching. I try to keep my streams right around two hours. Uh, you know, a lot of people come and go about it, but I think if I go too much longer than that, it just uh, kind of turns into a repetitive, rambling, uh, bumbling idiot. And hopefully, I've given you uh, reports on the. Uh, the corn monkeys uh, I've given you tips on helping your YouTube channel out I have shown you uh, my re recent acquisition of uh, my new pride and joy the cataragus knife and uh, I don't want to give all my secrets away in one night uh, let's see we got uh, Shay who just joined us and you're new here I appreciate you coming by Shay if you uh, get a chance go to one of my uh, videos uh, you can pick one of the shorter videos there if you leave me a comment uh, I'll get back with you um, it's, it's ha always hard to do it when you're in a live stream uh, <laughs> now that's a knife yes it is <laughs> it is definitely a knife it's not as big as the the official like buoy knife that uh, uh, oh, Mick Dundee, you know, Crocodile Dundee used in his movies, but uh, it is it is it is my uh, when I, when I use that state as a knife, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Looks like we had a little bit of a, a glitch there, but yeah. So we're going to be looking to see if uh, Tyler is going live. I'm going to check here and see if he is live yet. He might be getting things set up. And doesn't look like he is yet. teacup okay so yeah Tyler's getting gonna be setting up here in, in a moment so yeah if you guys while you're waiting if you haven't checked out canoe hound adventures I'm sure he would appreciate it um, he would definitely appreciate you smashing the, the thumbs up and red button ringing the ding 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 button there for him uh, just as much as I would and just as much as you would for your channel so we want to we want to support everybody in, in the best way that we can and if it's not your thing no problem um, you know if my channel is not your thing I'm not offended by it you, you know but I find that I've learned a lot by going to everybody's channels and I've found a lot of channels that I never thought I'd be interested in and all of a sudden I am so you might find something you like that means not sure what that means but that's all right a lot of times I miss something that was said in the, the chat there so you know I may not be following the, the conversation a hundred percent and I apologize for that I apologize if I mispronounced anybody's uh, channel name um, 
I, I've seen some channel names that I don't think anybody would ever be able to pronounce them right. Uh, we even had a, a as a matter of fact, uh, Dennis's last live stream over at Canoe Hunt Adventures, he had a gentleman in there that uh, I think he was Swiss or something, but it, it took, he had uh, Dave from Beastly Ironworks there with him. Uh, he called one of his friends that spoke German and told him the, the spelling of it so that we could actually be pronouncing it right. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm not the only one that has problems with some of the channel names. So, I apologize if I butchered anybody's name. We try to get it right. And, and like I said, uh, we got Tyler, who's uh, Tyler Wood, Bushcraft, who we are going to be uh, raiding over to here shortly when he gets set up. If I if he is pulled up yet, I will do the refresh. I'll get you guys a link here so that we can, you know, you can just click on it. Kids Connection, hey, good to see you. Appreciate you coming by. Um, we're losing daylight here fast. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just about to hit. I've uh, been on for two hours. Uh, we've covered a lot of things, but. One of the things we're doing is helping out uh, Dennis from Canoe Hound Adventures make it to his 1K. I know he would appreciate it. Uh, I posted his link in the chat there. I'm going to throw it up again so you guys uh, you at least can go over and check it out. I'm, I know he would appreciate you guys taking a peek at his channel. But yeah, we're like I said, we're we're still waiting for Tyler to get ready. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap things up here. So Kids Connection, um, I, like I said, I appreciate you coming by. Yeah, we just uh, just about to lose our daylight here. But is that not cool? That background, uh, the way the bushes are, and like the horizon for the light. I I think that's absolutely cool. <laughs> it's it's a, a really cool backdrop uh, and if any of you have ever seen some of my earlier live streams I uh, I used a green screen and I could change it to like I was in a cabin uh, I've had some where I'm out on a lake uh, just absolutely uh, beautiful backgrounds but uh, yeah sometimes you, you just gotta switch to something different and this is uh, actually outside live different so even better and the cicadas I think we've answered our question as to what happens to them when it starts getting dark they go silent but let's see Dennis or if uh, Tyler is ready yet And I, got, I hope you guys, uh, I hope I've passed on some uh, some good information. I always like to throw out tips to, to help your channels. And for those of you that uh, uh, just joined us recently that maybe missed some of that, um, you can go back and replay. Ah, Tyler is live, so I'm going to get you his link here. But you can go back and replay or... If you have a video you want me to check out, see if I can help you with tags, titles, hashtags to get it promoted a little better, just uh, send me an email. My email is on my about section of my channel. Uh, send me an email, send me the video that you have that uh, you want me to check out and I will jump over there and check it out. So, I'm going to
forever to load this. Happy Colorado Homestead. Talking to Kids Connection. It's good that everybody is uh, getting to know everybody. There's his link. My old computer's running slow here, so I apologize for how long it's taking, but here we go. So we are going to do T-O raid. There you go, H2. HTO raid over to Tyler Wood and we're going to continue to help Dennis grow and uh, I'm sure Tyler's got a lot of interesting things to pass on to you guys too so uh, if you guys don't mind let's all roll on over and join Tyler and if you want to catch me on some more of my videos just follow me here but you guys definitely check out that link but follow me here if you want to check out some more of my videos have a good one